Welcome to session one of the FSS Window Pro Tips and Tricks. The purpose of this session is to explain a few recommended best practices for room orientation and window naming so that you can use the FSS Window Pro app to significantly increase your productivity on consults and technical measures. Our agenda today is to cover moving left to right in a room, moving top to bottom on walls, naming windows A through Z, and finally, we will review a best practice how to add a picture with letters assigned to help you remember orientation in odd or complex rooms. In our first example, we will review a standard living room. There is only one door coming into the room and we have windows on every other wall. The first rule of thumb to learn is that we always go clockwise or left to right. So when you enter the room, we are going to start naming windows left to right. This would be A, B, C, D, E, and F. You should always start in with a left orientation. Usually, it's best to start or view the room from where you enter the room. So if you walked into a big room from a hallway or doorway, that's where you start from. Look to the left and then name all the way around. This example works very well if you're only having to deal with one floor. In the next example, we have transom windows. So what do we do in this scenario? Just like a piece of paper, we write and read left to right but we also start at the top and we go down. This is exactly how we will name our windows. So when I look at this, I would start in my top left. This would be window A, and then I would start counting down A, B, C, and going left to right all the way across. Combining our two rules, we move clockwise and we start in the top left, just like a piece of paper. The next example is the exact same as above, but as a two-story room with two walls. To start this naming, let's number the walls in a clockwise fashion. This would be our wall one, and this would be wall two. And then we start in the top left. So this is window A, window B, and then window C. And we're done with wall one. Then we move to wall two, starting in the top left, D, E, and then F. So you complete wall one, and then you move to wall two, and so on. On each wall you start top left, just like a piece of paper. Here is one more example with three walls. Again, we're going to be going around this room clockwise, so we start on wall one. So this will be wall one. This will be wall two. This is wall three. This will be our first window, window A, and now we move to wall two. We complete wall two, and then we move to our wall three. In your app, this room could be called the living room, and you now want to name windows, windows A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. The app starts the first window in each room automatically named Window A. Each time you press the Next or New Window button, the window name will automatically increment. This is intended to help you save a lot of time. The final tip for this lesson is for complex rooms where following these rules doesn't make a lot of sense. You can take a picture of that room with your phone and then using your phone's markup features, you can draw A, B, C, D, E next to or over all of the windows. So when you take the picture with your phone, you can hand draw the letters on the phone and then save the image. Next, go to the app and load that image into the window. Now you've saved your custom orientation so that you can easily remember it later. In summary, we always move left to right or clockwise in a room. We always start on a wall with top left orientation and then move left to right, then top to bottom. And for complex rooms, you can mark up a picture and load a custom orientation into the window as a picture. Thank you for your time. I hope you found these tips and tricks helpful. Please continue with lesson two if you want to see more tips and tricks.